Amazing! Uh, welcome to Voice of Oroha. We are again enjoying another interview in this festival of the future. A very inspiring uh, conference is happening in Ponik in Wellington here for over two days. So I have a very lovely person. She's amazing. I just were having chat with her before this podcast, but she's very keen to introduce herself. And we have this little career. Very welcome. And I would love to give you the mic and introduce yourself to the audience and people who are watching. Of course. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Disney. I am from Colombia. I came to New Zealand nine years ago. I've basically been raised in New Zealand. Um, I'm doing year 11 at St. Catharines right now, so studying my NCA level one. And I'm just, you know, very inspired and very focused on things like refugees and everything that has to do with that such topic. I love talking about youth and equal rights and everything that has to do with that. So I'm like looking forward to see if I can study law. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Amazing. J Jesney, right? Yes, Jesney. Great. Amazing. Thank you so much for having this career. It's really lovely to meet inspiring young people like you. So, Jesney, how is school going first? Um, school is going pretty good. I think that school is such an like, important step um, when it comes to, you know, everything that you have to have knowledge of and everything. School is quite hard at times and it can be a lot of pressure but it's always about you know the what do you call that like the general knowledge that you carry with yourself mm, and everything yeah. that comes with you that you know will help you to step forward and to keep going and just going with it and just going with the flow and letting everything just keep you know keep yeah going. that's beautiful that's good to hear that so just need uh uh, I know you are passionate and you are from uh, coming from refugee background, is that yes, correct? Yes. Awesome. And, and, and then as a young person, I have two questions put in this way. What made you to inspire to, to be like an advocate or talking about refugee issues? And then what, what, may, what, might, what inspire you in that space? I think that the main thing that inspired me was when I started growing up. I, when I grew up into, you know, going to school in New Zealand and everything, I always felt different. I didn't feel like I was belonging. I didn't feel very welcomed. I didn't feel like, you know, I was belonging to New Zealand out there. I felt like there was always something that was going to carry with me the rest of my life. And it was going to be my backgrounds and my story and everything that had to do with my family and the reasons why we moved to New Zealand. Um, so when i started growing up there was you know there was this like group of refugee kids in my school and we would just sit down and like learn english ma mainly it was like for learning english but there was a times where we would be able to like um talk about our stories and let each other know where we come from and everything and everyone had different stories and that to me inspired me i was very inspired by the way that other people just had their own story and everything just comes with them so I never felt like we were heard. We mm. were heard only between us because we understood each other and we related to each other. But the other people, the outside people didn't care. They didn't like bother to know who we were, where we come from, our story and why we are the person, the people that we are today. So that inspired me, just knowing the youth, the refugee youth, the mm. kids that don't feel welcome, the kids that felt like they never belonged here and that they always had something caring with them that would make them different from everyone else. So that was what inspired me to, you know, make refugee awareness that people understood. There was a lot of many like different situations where we were like racist, people were racist to us. And it was, you know, moments where I stood up for refugee kids myself, being very little because I knew, I very much knew that it was, you know, difficult for them. If it was difficult for myself, it would have been very hard for them too. And a lot of people, you know, like new refugee kids coming into, you know, Aotearoa, coming into school, not knowing any English and very being very scared of who people, what people were going to say about them and their perspectives of them. So, you know, Oh, that was what inspired me that I could relate to them and yeah. I wanted to stand out for them too. Wow, wow, what, oh, what an amazing and inspiring person you are. And in, in, in attending inspiring stories, conference festival of the future. I'm so proud to have this corridor with you. Thank you. And as a young person as who have a very passionate and, and talking about this um, corridor in a deeply and doing also actions around that. So I just need to tell us more about like um, 
now we are coming in in a few weeks to celebrate World Refugee Day uh, and, and what's that meaning to you and how you uh, commemorate that day? Yeah, of course, Refugee Day is such an important thing to me. Um, when I first started learning about that we had a Refugee Day mm -hmm. and that we would come as a community together as refugees to be able to speak and celebrate that we became because refugees doesn't make us any less. Refugees is something that we're proud of because we came such a far long way and we gave up everything our parents our heritage is everything that we you know like we should carry and be very proud of so i like i was speaking actually not that long ago i was speaking to a teacher of my school i wanted to do something big for refugee day i wanted to like see if we could speak about topics of refugee and become like refugee aware because even though there is so much right now like refugee day people don't take it too much into consideration it's not very important to them as other things are you know everyone's just there's so many distractions and they just don't take importance to stuff that is important you know such thing as refugee day there is like still a, such a big crisis in refugees i was studying about venezuelans and immigrating to mexico and everything that's going on around there and it's very you know saddening to see that there's so much going on in the world and no one takes any action, no one takes any importance. So to me, Refugee Day is a refugee, like a day where you can become aware and basically like, how do you say that? Like, um, there's a word for it, like... Like more awareness? Or... Yeah, like basically inform yourself of what refugees are and yeah. what it is to become a refugee and the challenges that we face every day. Because even if, you know, we learn English, even if we come here, there's always going to be something that's going to make us different from everyone else. And, you know, it's just about being aware and letting everyone know that we're there for each other and that we are one. So yeah. to me, refugee, that is a very important day. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for that. And. Uh, I have one other question to ask you. What, what about climate change? What do you think? Uh, do you have any opinions around that? And that how is impacting your community or you as a young person uh, around climate actions? And if do you have any tips also uh, about how we reduce our emissions? Yeah, of course, climate issue is such an important issue for us, for our generation, because basically we're paying for the consequences of the people that didn't care before us. We're paying for this and now we're the ones that have to take action. And you know, that always brings in such big thing of like, we're, we're the youth, we're the future, right? Yeah, yes. So we're the ones that have to take like action towards what's going on and like the crisis that's happening now but we're not fully informed they don't teach us enough we are not like i don't think that education is enough for us to learn about everything they ask you do you think youth uh, voice matters and it's like how can it matter if you don't teach us about anything in the world how do you want us to know mm. how can we give our perspectives to access more information to about topics yeah, yeah exactly so having the information of you know everything that has around that climate issues everything that has to do with those things but um, I think that New Zealand has done such a big impact when it comes to climate um, issues I think that compared to like basically like the world you we have bigger privileges of you know being able to be aware of those things and recycling and everything that has to do with that and so um, you know I think that what was the question? Sorry? Like, yeah, like how, what's other tips like you think uh, we can reduce our emissions as individuals? Yeah, of course. I think that we could, you know, be more aware of plastic use. That's be, right. Yeah, be yeah. more aware of plastic use, what, how we're using things, and just like be more responsible mm, of mm. what we have and what choices, we use, yeah. Yeah, the choices that we make with our own rubbish, our everything that has to do with those things. So it's just mainly, yeah, being aware of everything, your surroundings, and just be responsible for what you have to take care of, you know? Amazing. Beautiful. So we are coming last question. What's your advice to the young people or young people like you who are aspiring? So. This is your moment and tell us any advice if you want to share with our people. Thank you so much. I think my biggest advice is to just let yourself learn and 
like just be educate yourself in the smallest things whatever it is educate yourself there'll be times and moments where you'll have so many like moments where you'll be able to speak up for yourself so in those moments educate yourself know what you're gonna say know what you're gonna give to the table at the end of the day so that you become that person that you want to be you know always have a uh, what do you call it like always have and imagine the best version of yourself and work yourself through that work yourself to get there to be the best version of yourself to be that person that can you know give to the table whenever it's needed and to just give advice and to be responsible and to not be treated like a kid because you're you know young no show that youth matters that we matter and that our voices are important and that we need and we are we should be you know entitled to have our to make our own choices and to you know be responsible for everything that goes on in our lives and to just you know enjoy life yeah enjoy <laughs> life the most that you can and just you know with always with like general knowledge just mm -hmm. always know that general knowledge will take you a, a long way having good knowledge of everything and being aware of culture and everything that has to do with any issue at all in the world is very important. Amazing. Thank you so much, Gazni. We really have had a lovely corridor with you. Thank you for being with us. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>